This video will be about resampling and the bootstrap procedure. So, so far we've, when we've been talking about confidence intervals for means or confidence intervals for proportions, we've been making some assumptions either about the sample size being large enough or about the distribution of our samples. So for example, when we've been working with the mean, then we've been assuming that our samples or from a normal distribution with some unknown mean mu and some known mean sigma squared. All right, so in reality, it doesn't really make sense that we would not know the mean, but we would know the variability. So that is already kind of throwing some kinks into that uh, confidence interval procedure. And then also, is it really that realistic that our samples are coming from a normal distribution? The normal distribution is very useful, um, but oftentimes we'll see a little bit of skew in our data, and so it might not necessarily make sense that our samples are coming from a normal distribution. Similarly, when we've been doing confidence intervals proportion, we're assuming that n was large enough for our, our, for our central limit theorem to kick in. Um, this is also true about uh, if we're doing a confidence interval for means, uh, if we don't necessarily have data coming from a normal distribution, but if we have a really big sample size, the central limit theorem will still kick in. However, what if we don't necessarily have a sample size large enough? And what if we don't even know what a big enough sample size would be? Then how are we supposed to know if the central limit theorem has kicked in or not? All right. So we've had some assumptions that we're making either about the distribution or about the sample size, and those might be a little bit suspect. So what can we do? Well, nowadays we have computers. We can do this thing that involves us resampling from the population. So this doesn't actually mean we're going out and collecting an entirely physically new sample. We're just simulating what it would be like if we took new samples. So we're just using our computer to simulate these new samples, these resamples. So we're going to our population, we're looking at like what are the characteristics of the population, and then we're trying to create resamples based on that. So this is a pr very general procedure. So it's useful if we want to do like confidence intervals, it's useful if we want to do hypothesis testing, which we'll talk about soon and we can use it for a whole bunch of other things. So it's very flexible and very useful. So the first thing that we'll be talking about is bootstrapping. 